All right, guys, ADHD here. A hydrated ADHD, very hydrated. ADHD back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Camera flip, stay lit. We're getting right into it today. We're going inside because, because as you know, your boy likes to drink that water. You like to drink that water? I love to drink that. Yeah, you don't get a smile like that unless you're a very, very hydrated man. He loves that water. Yeah, stay wet. All right, what we're going to be doing is today, we got a lot of water brands. So we're going to ride into this. We have a lot of these water brands. And I'm sure at some point in your life, you've seen one of these water brands. And if you haven't, you're a liar. And that's just weird. But what water do you drink right here? Okay. Oh, we got a little Dasani man right here. Dasani. Okay. So me, we're probably wondering. That's the big question here, right? You're probably wondering. I know you're very curious or you don't give a hell. But what water brand do I drink? I actually love to drink this one right here. <laughs> The cheapest water I could possibly find. Whichever water has the lowest amount of money I actually spend to get it, the water I drink. We're gonna be testing out all of these brands. Which water brand is the best to drink? So we're gonna be testing it. We're gonna be using this right here, which tests the purification per square inch of water, and this right here, which tests the pH balance of water, so we can find, without a shadow of a doubt, which water is the best for me. So, I'm gonna find out if my water really is disgusting as Parker says it is. Or if Dasani is just, oh, look at what is the Dasani? Oh, God, you're out of sight. I don't even wanna see that water. You're poisoning yourself. <laughs> Every day you're poisoning yourself. Every day you're poisoning everyone around you too. <laughs> <laughs> so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test these all out, guys. So before we get into it, go guys, we have them separated. These are like the top ten brands. You, I mean, I'm not gonna speak for everybody, but for us, we see everywhere we go. Is these brands right here in this row? Yeah, in this front row right here. This back row is a lot of different specialty waters or like cheap waters and things you don't see all the time. Like we have this pH water, which on top says freaking you know 8.88 pH. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good one from. CBS. You know, people don't even know what that means. It's just like, <laughs> that they confuse you with science, man. That's what they do, these water brands. They know everybody dumb as hell. Everybody's walking around. Which water should I get? Oh, this is pH on it. <laughs> yeah, smart water? That's not for me. We're just dumb <laughs> water. So then they walk around, then they say, ooh, Essentia. It's got a health symbol on it. It says overachieving H2O. That's for me. I'll spend three times the money. <laughs> and that's how they make their decision. No more. Today, we're finding out which one is the best, like I said. So me and Parker are going to be taking all this branding away. The branding's gone. No more branded. Oh, pH this. All this marketing. Yeah, all this marketing. So me and Parker are going to do a taste test on the 10 biggest waters. So I'm going to give Parker a taste test of all the waters. And he's going to tell me, he's going to do a blindfold so he can't see, oh, Aquafina with the light blue thing that makes to look cleaner. That's dark blue. We're gonna be blindfolding him and he's gonna test all the waters out. He's gonna tell me which water tasted the best. So that way we know if Parker's opinion is just terrible or good. And then we'll <laughs> go from there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And he's gonna know which water I picked. You guys are gonna know which water we both picked. But I'm not gonna know which water I picked until it gets tested. So anyway, let's get started. All right, guys. So I'm gonna give Parker the test right now. He's gonna be drinking all of these different waters. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spare you guys time. This should be a lot of videos of a man drinking water. So we're gonna go ahead and cut him out but I'm gonna help him determine which one he says is the best and we'll see where that falls on the line here so I'll get started with the testing and we'll find out what Parker's favorite water is right now all right guys so I just got done finished testing Parker and this is the guy that always talks about water quality oh water this water that <laughs> so this are his results the ones in the middle are the ones he said were like neutral they were like somewhere between a rating he gave between a four and a seven so these are his ratings the ones one in the back here is the one he claimed the worst. He gave it a two <laughs> out of three. And the ones in the front are the ones he gave the best grade, which are these two right here. He gave an eight. So what I'm gonna do now, you're gonna go ahead and reveal your love I'm gonna show you which one you gave the best grade. Yeah? Yeah. The one you gave the best grade was Arrowhead Water. No. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cheapest waters you can get. Arrowhead water, he chose as an eight. His second one isn't even a water, really. It's black. I knew it was black. <laughs> you gave Fiji, which is like the most expensive one here, a freaking six. <laughs> that was the last one you did. You're like, it was, you're like, it was, it was, 
there's nothing interesting about it, nothing special about it. And the one you said was the worst was Just Water. I did just I, the, the, the advertising tin. You know what, Just Water, I just, I still have. It was I, just I, bad. I, it was just bad. Like, <laughs> so this is why I'm saying, guys, this is why I drink this water, because he is the water guy. He's always talking about water quality, judging me on my water choices, and he's an arrowhead as a bet. So that's why I'm saying, guys, water is just water. We're going to find out today. Funny. That's still not true. <laughs> We're going to find out the test right now. I'm going to go up next. Okay, see, <laughs> you hate that one. Oh, that was two. <laughs> this is, that's a two. Two, that's <laughs> right. Drink some <laughs> water off the goddamn uh, gutter. <laughs> that's a two. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, if I did uh, that cannonball in a pool and got some water in my mouth, that just straight up tastes like pool water. <laughs> what would you rate? That's a straight up <laughs> two. <laughs> All right, guys. So just did my water test. Parker's gonna show you what I said was the best water, which ones I said were the medium water, which one I said was the the worst water. Here they are now. All right. So in the front rows, you got your tens, your nines, your eights. These are the best waters, and this is uh, from left to right the first water that he drank all the way to the 10th. So here's the front or the front row. Here's all the sixes, the fours, and here's the worst waters he said, the worst waters he tasted. And this is a little graph of how it goes. So we're ready when you are. So this see. one's like you the highest grade? You gave that a 10. That one was good, dude. That one was not bad whatsoever. And you know, I just gotta say, this is the one that was the oh, one. Dude, that was bad. <laughs> that was genuinely bad. I, I, I'm glad it wasn't just me. You know, <laughs> like I was just tasting this. I think this is weird. Everyone else says this is great. That was disgusting. All right, guys. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. I have the whole list right here, and I'm just doing Dasani first. What we're gonna do is the lighter the color. So right here, this is basically this is the color you want. It's like the best possible. And then the lighter you get, that's the more acidic the water actually is, and the worse it is for you. So this area right here is the best for your health. And we're also gonna be using this to test how pure the water is. It tests how many particles are within a square inch of the water is how many particles there are. Just because there's particles doesn't mean it's bad, but we're still gonna add that into the equation. So let's go ahead and see which is the best water. All right, Parker, you nervous? This is the water you I, drink. Yeah, I am very nervous, actually. This is the water Parker drinks every single day. He comes here and he, you know, he starts bragging. Oh, I, I have start bragging. I, I have Dasani. My daily routine. I have Dasani. Parker's your broke ass, just got some 7-Eleven <laughs> water. Let's see what he has right here. So purity, below 006 is what is good, purely cleaned water. Ooh, we're at a 30. Okay, we're at a 30, which isn't too bad. It's better than, you know, Coke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Now let's see the acidity. Are you ready for this? Oh. Oh, that's nice. really, really yellow. That's, that's a neutral. five. That's like a neutral. five. That's not a good color though. And we're gonna add all these things together and decide which one's the best. So let's keep it going here. So right here, Dasani. All right, next one up is Crystal Geyser. This is the water you get at the 99 cent store. Let's see if Parker's high quality Dasani is better. Let's do this purity test here first. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> I peaked at 101. You well, know it's it. at 101. That's pretty pretty bad, actually. Is... Let's see if it, what if the balance is better than the Dasani, though. That that's a, a 7. Oh, that is a darker green, huh? So that means Crystal Geyser is better than Dasani as far as the pH goes. Dasani is more acidic. All right, so Crystal Geyser is ahead. All right, next one is Aqua Hydrate, which Parker says he's a bias towards. He loves this water. I, yeah, I love it. I've <laughs> never even tried this water. So let's see. Put it on the... <laughs> Are you drink the all? Oh, oh you, you drink you, this? You literally just spat it out on your floor. Worst, this is the worst water ever because Parker picked it. This well, this would be, be interesting because this advertises a pH uh, nine plus. Oh, oh damn. My. Again, just because the minerals are high doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It could be positive minerals. Yeah, some, yeah sometimes they're like yeah, they're good particles. It could you, be yeah. good particle. Oh, oh, dude, that thing is a oh. solid blue. We didn't even get the rest of its drop. That is a solid color. That is an eight. And what does it advertise? A nine, though. Eight point five. That so far is the best pH balance and the most balanced water. But again, you're paying for that. That's, That's expensive. Like, we're paying for all of this. So here's what I think is probably going to be the best one: is Fiji. Here we go. Yeah, 139. Again, that's not a bad thing, but it is still not just water. That's a seven. That's a seven. That's a seven, and it doesn't even solid advertise seven. it. Like yeah, this solid is a, seven. Yeah, this is advertised as a pH water. This is just water, and it's got a seven. That's, and we both agree that that tastes great. Yeah, and it tastes great. All right, seven for Fiji. 
Next up, Eternal Water. This First is, off, I've never heard of this. This is the most expensive one we bought, and some places is five dollars a bottle. Okay, that's 40, close to this water. Forty-seven. Yeah, forty-seven. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's like yeah, it's about the same. I think we put more because you put more drops in that one. It's more of a defined color. Yeah. So I would give that a seven, seven too. Yeah. So they're both like seven to an eight. This is the one I'm curious about. Oh, this is God. your man Will Smith on Instagram. Be posting his water, just water. Always talking about this. Me and Parker both gave it the work. I swear it tastes like laundry water. Yeah, like, that it tastes, tastes so like someone like it tastes like water that's been sitting there for three weeks. That is some bad water. Let's see what the grade is though. So we're testing the purity right now. Again, not necessarily everything, but 64. Now this is what I'm curious about is the acidity level. Let's get it. Damn, that's not too bad for just water. That's not too bad. That, yeah. As bad as it tasted, that's actually better than Fiji. That is, yeah, it's, it's a solid wow. blue. Wow, that's a solid blue, which means its pH is eight. I gotta give it to Will Smith's water. It may taste like absolute shit, but- You know what, I ain't still ain't drinking. <laughs> it's not bad for you. So smart water is known for being reverse osmosis so I'm expecting nothing less than a zero 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 as far as purity goes. If there's no zero zero zero, that makes me question their distilled vapors. Ooh, dude, that 25. is 25. That is way too high for a distilled water. Distilled is supposed to be like nothing in it, no good, no bad. Yeah, distilled water is supposed to be zero, zero, zero. We're at 25. That's not looking good, smart. It wasn't very smart of you, huh? Yeah, it wasn't very smart of your design. Next one, let's get this acidity. Oh, oh damn. That looks like pill. Dude, that is bad. That's like, what, a six? So you're basically, if you look at our scores here, that's the same as Crystal Geyser. You're basically paying, and Smart Water's not cheap. It's not a no, cheap water. it's not a cheap water at It's all. like a two to three dollar water versus just only a dollar. They're very close in comparison. That's scary. That is not a good brand to buy. Do not buy. I'm not, 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 not reverse sponsoring, but I wouldn't buy Smart Water I, based off those tests. All right, next thing right here is Arrowhead Water, this weird ass nozzle. I'm expecting nothing less for this to be <laughs> so let's see what Parker's opinion looks like on paper. Oh my oh! god! <laughs> Dude, you're better off drinking a soda. I you're told you this off, water's bad. You're better off drinking water with a hose. <laughs> What? What? No way. Dude, word. <laughs> no way. That stuff is good. It's actually at an eight. That I is can't been, believe that. That's almost, that's the same grade as a Just Water, which is expensive. Wow. For price value, Just Water, or Arrowhead Water is your highest pH water. So I guess Parker's taste isn't too bad. So we got our pH right here. Maybe I could taste the pH. Maybe that, maybe that pH. <laughs> On the sweet pH. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our highest right now but this is the one I am I'm curious I am about. very curious about Ascension this one gives it higher than this one is a 9 it says we are 9.5 pH higher purified water see how true this is Ascension. I, I actually love this water too I've never actually tried this water because I'm too cheap but let's see that's good water yep that's solid water so our current winner, I'm gonna put right over here for dollar. I mean, yeah, this one's got a higher score, but I'm talking about dollar value per quality. Arrowheads in the lead. Purity level, let's get it. Okay, 44, 48, it's not too bad. All right, now for the main thing. This should be the closest thing we have to that dark, deep purple, which is a 10. Oh, that's straight purple. Oh, that's a oh, real that's a dark great purple. purple. I don't know if it's a 10 though. I don't think it's a 10. Well, yeah, that's why they say 9.5. Let's see about the aqua hydrate. Which one's darker? Oh, this one for sure. That one's definitely darker. Yeah. It's okay. Well purple. Yeah, they are what they advertise. How much is a Cincha bottle? Uh, unfortunately, it's expensive, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So here's our number one as far as scores. Next one is Avion. That's a water very, very popular around here. I don't know about everywhere else, but this water's been around for a long time. Let's see what they can do. Ooh, damn, that's high. Two eight, wait, wait, how? Two eighty five? Two ninety four? That's almost three hundred. That can't be good. Not, not bad. Uh, nothing to go bit. rent on Mama about. That's Fiji level, and it's cheaper. Next up is what I was interested in: is Core. This is the funnest looking bottle. This oh, looks yeah. like a fun thing to drink. And this is very popular in our area. Yeah. I see a lot of people drinking this. All right, let's test the purity. Oh man, we're at one hundred and ten acidity. Let's get it. They advertise a 
four. So he has seven point four. That I mean that looks kind of about that. So Cora's not lying. Is it your best dollar for value? No. No, because that's a you can get you can get those on deals, but I'm pretty sure like if you got Aqua Hydrate or Essentia, it's probably better for your value. Yeah. This is what I'm curious for. This is a cheaper version of it because of the plastic bottle. But in a glass bottle, these can run you anywhere from three to five bucks a bottle. Okay, okay. Is that okay. 24? Yeah, 24. That's actually one of our lowest ones as far as the particles go. Oh! oh. Dude, that is super low for as pricey as it is. That's a six. That is a six all day. That is bad. That is the second lowest one we've had. Next one up is my water. The water I drink, the 7-Eleven purified water. I think we're gonna be surprised how good this is. Okay, okay, I was right. 23, 23. 23. has the lowest particles. Yeah, that's bad. Well, no, it's not. Is it? <laughs> that's like somewhere in between the two. We're yeah, in the green like, though, that's a seven. Hey, hey man, I'm drinking better, you're paying for Dasani, and I'm getting a better water with this 7-Eleven water. Hey, I just drink what's in the fridge. So, between Parker's water with Dasani and my water, it's better, and it's cheaper. Hey man, that's why I'm telling you, water is water. Next up, Aquafina. Classic, everybody's had Aquafina. If you haven't had Aquafina before, you're just lying. You had to have had Aquafina before. Everyone's had it, you had to, you have to. <laughs> yeah, you had to have. Oh, dang, That's that a is our one? cleanest water so far at a one. I was expecting Smart Water to be the one that had less than a five. Wow, a one. Now- That's the only one here that's safe to drink by this thing's standards. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, there's your the back most draw. That's the worst one. Have. That is a five. That is the worst thing we have tested so far. Aquafina at a five. Next one up is Body Armor. It's got a pH of eight. It's got electrolytes. It's supposed to be the best water for a sports player. Let's see what it is. I'm a sports player, so let's see what comes out of this. It's a 50, okay? Let's see what that is. 52. I'm gonna go ahead and guess this one's on par. So far, the advertising is gonna create. Correct. So that works. That's an eight. That's a solid eight all day. That was expensive. That bottle was 340. 340? No. No. Yeah, not that's the most not buying it. Water. Yeah, this one was the most expensive water we got alongside this one. <laughs> and now, next up, which I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but black water. So. That advertises a pH of eight and higher. All right, we'll find out. I'm expecting this one to have the most amount of particles. Four. Wow. Oh, one, you know, 148. You know what's sad is that there are ones on here that aren't colored that have more particles than that. That is sad, actually. <laughs> now the test, the pH. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it or anything, but we'll have to just try our best here. Yeah, I see some blue too. I mean, you can't really see it too well, guys, because it's black water. Which that's what would worry me about this black water is whether or not it really is what it says, because how could you test it? Exactly. You know what I mean? But that looked like it's also blue. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8. All right, guys. So, yeah, boys, the ADHD science team. Team right here. We're gonna go ahead and crunch some numbers and define what is the highest quality one, our worst quality one, and also what is the best one to buy for the average person. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we've come to our numbers here. The best water for you is Essentia. This is the best water for you. It is it has pH balance, has good quality, good amount of minerals just in it. Just as advertised. Just as advertised. This is the best water for you. But not everybody wants to be spending, you know, upper two to three to four dollars a bottle. So, that's not our winner though. So the winner is Arrowhead. It has the worst purity, but it's also mountain spring water. So those could be good minerals. But eight, that's solid of a color. It's one of the best ones we have on the board here. Look at this, one of the best on the board. And for only a dollar. True, it's cheap. A dollar, you can't beat that. The only one competing with it is Aquafina, which is the worst. This one right here. Yeah, that yellow one. Yeah, so go to the 99 cent store. You're on a road trip. You need to get a water. You're on a budget. Arrowhead's the winner. 